Hello, humans and future AI overlords. I'm using Google Chrome on Windows 11. And Google's released Google Vids. Now, we're all pretty familiar with Google's AI capabilities. They've been doing AI for a long time. And uh, they've got AI baked into Gmail, into Google Docs, into Google Sheets, into Google Slides. So their whole Google Workspace environment. But I just got access today to Google Vids. And it is supposed to help us create professional looking videos uh, really easy within the Google Workspace and uh, basically have no prior video editing experience, which, to be honest, you've seen my videos. I don't have very much experience. <laughs> so, but uh, uh, basically, uh, the tool is going to help us simplify video creation. Um, it says it's got an intuitive interface. We'll see if that's true. Uh, it's not very complex software is what they claim and that it's easy to use the tools uh, to, to make the edits and transitions and stuff like that. So um, the, the, the tool itself um, is supposed to save us time, help us collaborate easily if we're a Google Workspace you know, kind of company, um, and get access to the videos um, from anywhere. So um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll look at this uh, tool for the first time, so this is an introduction. Um, I don't have uh, much experience, but seeing that it's available, and uh, you know, and, and I clicked around in it just to make sure it actually uh, uh, was available to me to leverage. So um, we will see what we can do. So here we're at the interface for Google Vids, and Google Vids, I don't know, like. I mean, maybe that's a cool name. I don't know. It just sounds a little, I don't like, I don't know. I think they could have come, come up with something better. But um, so it's got a, hello, James, let's start creating. Um, and it's got a prompt uh, window right here. <clears throat> so I could actually describe my video in a few sentences. And then if I want to include files, I could use an at mention to grab some files. They've got some, um, it looks like, uh, there's a shuffle button here to look through some different templates is what it looks like, <clears throat> which is interesting. Now we've got the standard Gemini won't always get it right. Responses are based on inputs and do not represent Google's views. Generated content can be viewable in version history by others, images and videos, maybe AI generated or stock. So just that whole disclaimer, AI, can do crazy things. Um, let's see here. So here on the left side, it says, help me create, which is where we're at right now. If I click on templates, okay, look at, there's some cool templates here, interesting. There's some diversity of templates. Some seem cooler, some seem retro. Um, some are sort of businessy. Yeah, I don't know, like this is interesting. Um, it's, you know, they've got good names, you know, brainstorming, you know, um, brainstorming from the 70s, you know, but uh, anyway, um, so this is cool. They've got a, a variety of templates here that you could, you could check out. Um, there's a record option to record video, and then there's an upload option to upload content. So I'm going to go back here to help me create. Oh, and there's an experimental feature, learn more. Let's click on this. Okay, so this is the... Uh, create a video with AI in Google Vids, Workspace Labs. So it's uh, it's an invite-only program um, for users to try new AI features. Um, so uh, you, I got an email about the access uh, earlier today. So that's how I knew I got it. Um, and um, that's cool. I, did, I do remember, you know, signing up a while back to play around in, Google, in the Workspace Labs um, get access to some of the AI tools and and fun capabilities that they're 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 offering. But anyway, so um, it says in Google Bids, use Help Me Create to create your first draft video from prompts, um, and it can generate a storyboard. 
suggested scenes, a script narrative for videos and voiceovers. Um, can, you can select stock video or images. You can swap it with your own media. They've even got stock music, which is sweet. So, um, so it says important new features for vids such as help me create roll out gradually and may not be available to you yet. You can create a video in Gemini and Google vids using help me create under the prompt, type an at symbol to add related documents. Once you submit your request, all related documents and vids will generate. So it'll suggest an outline, stock media, videos, images, and music, um, and then a scripted narrative um, that you can edit and record voiceovers with. Um, so, and then it just, I guess, I guess it puts placeholders in there for you where it's suggesting that you add your own content, which is cool. Um, so it's got some, you know, some navigation options here uh, around creating your, your, your videos, um, making modifications to placeholders, you know, so, and then of course, a uh, little bit more about Workspace Labs, feature suggestions, you know, some of the limitations and all the AI crazy that goes along with it, and then a place to give feedback. So, uh, or create a request if you've got a, 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 a deeper issue. So I'm gonna close out of that and go back here. All right. So what if I say, um, let's create a video introducing Google, whoops, AI and Google vids, and I'll do an at, at and it is not bringing up any of my documents so bummer that i can't reference some existing documents but let's go ahead and just click next so this is where it's creating an outline okay cool so it's creating an outline it's got an introduction uh, google ai google is the future of video is here google ai ai powered video editing automatic transfer Transcription Translation, Enhanced Search and Discovery, Google Vids, a new platform for hosting videos, immersive viewing experiences, personalized recommendations, a future video, infinite possibilities, creators and viewers will benefit. Conclusion, getting started with AI and Google Vids today. So that's cool. And you have the option to edit, um, add, and delete. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just stick with this suggestion. So, so it says select a design to start with. Okay, so it's only giving me three options. This one looks kind of fun. I'm just going to pick that one. So, and then basically, so it, 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 it's showing me what this will look like. I'm going to go ahead and just say, create the draft video. Okay, smoothing things out, organizing content, polishing off the pixels, sprinkling in some magic, brewing delight, adding pixie dust, adding pixie dust. All right. Want a different video? Find other videos in stock media or your own media in Google Drive and Google Photos. So I have got it. Um, did this draft video help you get started? Well, sure. I'll just submit that. So, okay. So it's introducing Google and Google videos for my prompt. So we've got the file. Uh, options here, version history, a lot, of, a lot of basic kind of controls, download, share, make a copy, new video, um, edit, un copy, paste, undo, redo, delete, duplicate, uh, view, uh, play, show, ob show object tracks, captions, um, canvas zoom, timeline zoom, interesting. Um, insert. You know, comments, upload, my media, stack media, recording, text box, shape and line, table, new scene templates, video placeholder, uh, format, video, audio, and animation, um, new scene, templates, duplicate scenes, delete scenes, split scene. Interesting. Okay. Background, transition, arrange, tools, spelling, preferences, accessibility, help. Okay. Help videos improve. Okay. All right. Well, Okay. So we've got that. We've got the last edit was seconds ago. We've got the show all comments. There's a play here. There's a share here. Um, so this is where we've got so search the menus, add a new scene. So this looks like just uh, some of the controls you know, kind of brought down uh, uh, to make them a little bit more accessible. 
Let's see here, and just audio timing. So interesting. Okay, so it looks like we've got the, the timeline down here. And we have the scripts over here on the right. So it looks like it's created a one minute, 22 second video. Videos can be up to 10 minutes long. Okay, that is a, that is a limitation because you know my videos, they go long. I am a long video creator. I'm trying to get better about that. Try to be a little bit more focused. Uh, but anyway, so you can see the timeline here, which is cool. We've got the script here. It looks like we can navigate through the pages and it's got a script and it looks like you can record this with a teleprompter if you want to use your voice this is where it's got some placeholders for video um, there's some automatic transcription and translation to make your video accessible that's so cool um, enhance search and discover. You can easily find the videos you're looking for. Okay, Google Vids is a new platform for hosting videos. Okay, so, all right, so this is cool. Um, it's cool that it created some slides with images and video content. And it looks like it added some music. It's got a script. Um, you know, it's broken down. The slides, you know, um, it, you know, uh, in that uh, organized way that it kind of detailed at the very beginning. Um, so let's see here. So this is where we can create an image with Gemini. We can get to templates here. We can get to my media. We can get to stock media. That's cool. So if I want to search all the different types of stock media available, insert tech box, text box, shape and line, there's a recording section here, and the scripts. So it's got record with a teleprompter. Now what I'm not seeing here is I'm not seeing the option to have voice narration. And that's one thing they did show was that you could um, select a voice to narrate your video for you. So that's kind of a bummer. But let's go ahead and um, let's just play it and see what it did um, uh, when it just created the content based on a simple, simple prompt. Nice. Add your media here. I like this music as a background. Interesting. Picture in picture kind of stuff. That's nice. <laughs> That's some sweet. That's you know, it's it's really interesting the selections that it made. I kind of like this you know, kind of vibrant, color changing. Interesting, that's very, that's adorable. Um, huh. Got some futuristic looking video there. Wow, some, see this is really nice. It looks like they've got a lot of different styles of video. So this is just using that simple prompt, you know, it created the format, it created the video, it added content. Um, you know, it's it's super basic, but you know, it's still very cool. I mean, it's a great starting point. That's where I feel sometimes a lot of these AI tools is people expect it to get you to 100%. Basically, like replace the human completely in in the in the work that you're attempting to accomplish and. Um, you know, it's definitely, you know, in some cases it can do, you know, some of that stuff in some cases, depending on tool you're using and your objectives and stuff like that. But um, this is basically just doing what a lot of the kind of standard AI tools is just it, it will, you know, from a basic prompt and some input. And I think if it could have let me reference uh, some research documents, 
it could have probably created a much better outline and script and content for the video itself. So um, this is this is very interesting. I'm I'm impressed. I'm not um, I'm not completely surprised, but I am impressed because it's kind of you know getting you know getting me down the path of creating content. Um, you know, and, and that's what a lot of these tools are meant to do. They're help to they're meant to help us become more productive, to get some things done faster, or to do some things that just take a lot of time, um, uh, or maybe uh, you know not necessarily complicated, but uh, something that would just um, automating it you know is better. But I like how it's giving some cool examples, some you know some some great images, video, and it's packaging it all up together. This is impressive. Um, you know, this is for me day one. And um, I'm, I'm curious to see where this goes in the future. Um, I'm, you know, I think, I think this is gonna, you know, be something that I'll, I'll play around a little bit more with and see if we can create something interesting. I don't know if this is where I could transition all my videos to, I was kind of hoping that it could help me create content, better content um, than just my my standard basic video. So who knows? Maybe this is something that may enhance my overall presentations. But um, you know, I'll, I'll definitely let you know. But uh, thank you for joining me today. Um, have a great day, and um, remember, um, some of these AI tools uh, are very simple. They do basic things but you can't spell the word basic without AI. Anyway, I know, bad joke. All right, thanks again. Have a great day.